So hairline is one of the aspects that create a wonderful frame to, to the face that makes the face so much better. This is the rule of thirds from, from the chin to the subnasale, subnasale to the, to the uh, glabellar line, to the trichion. But I don't like this. I prefer this because the hairline is really a transition from vertical scalp to horizontal scalp. And if you start to think of that transition, and we'll talk more in detail, that is what defines the hairline. All the time? No. That's the lowest acceptable point. Lowest acceptable point. So here is a model I created for my book to help you think about this. The head is round, but let's think of it like a box. Because a box has vertical and horizontal lines. So the hairline really is just the anterior transition from horizontal to vertical. Then there's mid scalp, lateral crease going to lateral hump, and the backside going to the crown. And that's just the name of the transition. Again, don't worry about memorizing this. I want you to just absorb the general concepts. If you want me to slow down and take a photo, please let me know. Go back. Yeah. Luce? Okay. Yamagush that. Had a show? Okay. Uh, this is the idea that the hairline must end at the lateral canthus. When you see a comb over, it's because the hair is coming from here into the middle. So you have to know the endpoints. And the shape is important. There's so much creativity when you design it because some people's hair, heads, like my head is wide, I'm Asian. So you don't want to draw this narrow hairline on me, it'll look funny. And again, I know I, I plug St. Louis, but I watch you design a hairline and the first time you do it perfectly, the second time you do it badly because I realize it's hard. I just rewrote my volume one where I put in all the mistakes I see my, pay, uh, my students make Every mistake I see people have made over the last seven years, I write it down because I know you're going to make them at some point because it's normal. So other thing is if you look at someone with an older hair system, they look fake because they stick too far out compared to where the, hair, the temple is. So sometimes if they wear a hair piece, you can just build their temple out to match it because nowadays the hair pieces are very natural. They look good. but. That could be, but you don't want to build a hairline way out here and the temple being way back here, it won't match. So they have to naturally unzip at the same rate. Very important. The other thing is important I've noticed with my students is when they, they forget to check the side view of the person because the side view should either be flat or slope up. If it slopes down, it's a woman's hairline. It's a female hairline. Cannot slope down on a guy doesn't exist in nature. If it doesn't exist in nature, you may not be able to tell it's fake, I will. So I have a higher standard, I want you to get to that standard. This is so important. When you draw a hairline, immediately use a mirror because what looks straight to your eye, because the, the forehead is all irregular, can make the hairline look irregular in a mirror. So I always check with a mirror. But I have the patient close his eyes so that they don't see my line being off. Okay, these are the points in summary and then we'll go through an exercise. Central point first, remember that's the transition from vertical to horizontal. Lateral endpoints here, lateral canthus, second point. We'll show you how to draw that. I know this sounds very vague, we're gonna make it very specific. The shape with the transition from the mid pupil. Check from the lateral side, I told you look from the side. Temples, make sure that they match. And symmetry, let's go through one exercise. Here's a guy, this is from my book. I make sure I draw the first point, okay? So here are three points, which is correct? They all look sort of okay, do they? No, the first one is too low, it's on the forehead. It's on the vertical plane. The back one looks okay, but is it gonna give him a proper frame? No. So this one is a proper frame, but does he have enough hair to, to get that low? The answer is yes in him, but you start with that point and then you decide maybe I need to go up. Okay, so start with that lowest acceptable point. Then 
you want to draw your lateral canvas. How do you do this? This is a mistake every time I see people do it. You need to take something like this so that you roll up because your eye three-dimensionally drifts in the wrong direction. I see this every time. The students will make it right the first time, second time too far in, third time too far out. So use a guide, help yourself out. Then draw that point that's straight up from the lateral canthus, right here, straight up. And then use a ruler because you want to make sure that both sides are the same. Well, where, how high do you go? Did I put it here, 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 here? I'll answer that, one minute. So here are some options. Here, there, there. Well, it's hard to see this, but this may be too far out. It may drift too far out, and that may be too far in. So this is the art of seeing. It's hard to see in a photo. After you've done that, you want to make sure they both go back the same direction, the same height, because sometimes your dot is here, and this dot is here. So check all angles, OK? And then you want to check from the side view, because here are four options where this could go, right? Because if this is the line going up, maybe you put it here, 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 here. Well, let's look at some options. Is one OK? No, because remember, it's a female hairline. Female hairline, right? Is two OK? Uh, it's not bad, but it's a little aggressive. Because if you put it here, you can't put it here. That's lateral to the lateral canthus. But if you put it here, why is this problem? Because you have to then build a huge temple here. Does that make sense? Because this position says, I have to build a big temple hairline. And that may be OK, but that's a lot of hair you got to put in the temple. And the temple you should not do for the first five years of your practice in hair, because it's too difficult. And if you said, I can do it, I promise you, you can't. And if you can't, I will teach you things you should do your first five years and things you shouldn't do your first five years. And even if you're the best surgeon in the world to do it, your assistant will not be able to place it right because they may not be advanced enough. So don't build two, and it's too aggressive. Three is acceptable. You know why? Because even though it's front of the temple, you can easily build this little temple part, OK? That's easy, because the angles don't have to be very low. They can be a little off, and you're OK. Four is conservative. So three and four are correct answers. So there are all these, all these points follow this line. But one is fem female hairline. Two is correct, but requires a temple to build. Remember the unzipping? Three is slightly higher. It's correct and actually doable for a beginner, if I just show you. And four is very conservative. The more tilt, the more conservative. The more horizontal, the more aggressive. And if it tilts down, you have a fe female hairline. So these are just showing you those different lines. Three and four correct. Two is correct, but I would not do it. One is incorrect. Make sense? I hope. So now we've got the three points from the front view. Maybe these are slightly tilted off. Hard to tell in this photo. Then we start to look again, make sure they're lined up. Then I, uh, I check the side view, make sure it tilts the same angle on both directions. And then I start a little pattern there. Make sure that starts looking good to my brain. Then I connect it further. And then remember, at the mid-pupil, the mid-pupil, I can start to transition. So I've got some options. I can either go a little bit more conservative or more aggressive. But I would probably tilt it up a little bit. So these are just options that are available. This is me looking straight on, making sure it's good. And then this is looking top down to make sure it looks good. Every angle. I uh, use the mirror, check, make sure it's straight. Remember that, use the mirror. Then I go to the side. Those are the two options I showed you here, OK, based on the shape. I go to the other side, make sure everything matches. So check all angles, top, down, side, side, front, et cetera. Mirror. Practice, practice, practice. And this is, I just, this book just came out last week, uh, sorry, last month, um, and it's a whole way, this is, if you're a beginning doctor, this is the book to buy, not that huge book. This is a very easy book, and it, it's, I don't know if it's out on 
on Amazon yet, but it should be out in the next month or so. But it's out at my course. And these are all the four volumes. This is, this is for beginners I wrote, very simple how to do it with all those photos you just saw. How to train assistants, Amina did this. With, these are all a lot of videos. This is a huge book for just encyclopedia. And this is the first book ever written on FUE. So we'll talk about that. It just came out, and that's my four volumes. St. Louis again. <laughs>